math and I. When we race, I always come last. Like an athlete with a nasty cold. My mom's math knowledge, it's worse. It's COVID-19, unknown and chaotic. Long story short, she and math always stay a meter apart. So I was left alone to race against mathematics, the T-Rex in my Jurassic Park. And I keep on losing. Ugh. But then, my mom told me the story of a Sri Lankan athlete who ran with a nasty cold. It is 1964 Olympics, 10,000 meter men's event. The spectators' eyes are bulging with suspense, watching the athletes, waiting for one of them to make history. The gun goes and the men run. They run like raging bulls. But the Sri Lankan is struggling with his worst nightmare, the dreaded cold. While all the others have completed the race, he has four more laps to go, already lost. Embarrassment much. The underdog with the blocked nose, still running. A loser. But to him, losing was giving up. So he kept running. Three laps down, the crowd jeered and booed, but he kept running. Two laps down, nothing discouraged him. On his own, he kept running. One lap down, 75,000 spectators, awestruck, watched this man of steel as he kept running. Finally, he finished what he started. The crowd that jeered, now cheered. A day when history recorded a loser as a winner. A loser who is still remembered as a hero, even in the Japanese textbooks. And as a Sri Lankan child, I take great pride in calling him Uncle Karu. He is Ranatunga Karunanand. Even when he lost, he won. Because he didn't believe in victory, but in resilience. He didn't believe in glory, but in perseverance. He believed in himself. After my mom finished the story, I thought that I too was an Uncle Karu. I was alone with my race against math, but decided to keep running. I studied, the race seemed tough, but I ran. I practiced, it seemed hard, but I ran. I felt tired, I couldn't go on. Still, I ran alone. My exam paper leered at me with questions that were ready to eat my piece away. And I told myself, Sarah, let's race. And so, my math marathon began. Lap one, the questions snarled at me. Lap two, they were getting tough. Lap three, they hurt my brain. Lap four, lap five, lap six, the last question. I did it. I didn't give up. The day I got my marks, in red, my teacher had written 52%. Wow, that is 28 more than last time. My only competition has always been with my old self, the one with the nasty cold. When I showed this to my mom, she said, even though you might not be the best, you still won because it's not about victory, but resilience. It's not about glory, but perseverance. And I'm amazed at what you achieved. Even if you have to run alone, find that Uncle Karu in you. Make mistakes, learn from them, try hard, but never, ever quit. Be that spirited loser, the one who wouldn't give up, the real winner.